Hey beauties, I'm back with another hair tutorial. I'll be doing a crochet weave so you can see my hair is out right here and I'm going to braid it up. So my braiding pattern is just straight back cornrows, you know, my meat mill braids. I look good, I know, you don't have to tell me. <laughs> so here is the pack hair I'll be using. It's Free Trust Water Wave Bulk, 12 inches, the color 4, and I paid $5.99 for each pack. So really inexpensive. When you first take it out the pack, the hair is bundled up, but it's super easy to separate the strands. Here's the crochet needle that you'll need. This is what it looks like. Right now it's closed. I'm going to open it, and I closed it back. So it's really simple and easy to use. You want to take your strand of hair, and from that one strand that you have, you want to break it into two parts. It doesn't have to be equal. Just rip it apart and break it into two parts. You want to split one of the two pieces that you have into two more pieces. So in total, you should have four pieces. On to the crocheting process. So you want to put the crochet needle underneath your braid, attach the hair, close that latch, and pull it through your, your hair. I promise you, it does not hurt. So you want to put your finger or your hand through that loop, as you see. And making sure you keep that loop open because you're about to put those two strands on the opposite side through the loop. To make sure it's secure and it doesn't slide out, you want to twist your loop about two times and then you secure it. When you get to the front area or your parts, the technique changes a little. So you want to put your needle through your braid. Go ahead and attach your hair to the needle. Close it. Pull it through. And instead of putting both of the strands through the loop, you're going to put one strand. So when you fold over the other side of the hair, it will kind of conceal that knot. Okay, so you know I have to get my edges right. So I take my coconut eco styler gel and just put it on my edges and take a brush and just smooth it out.
Hold on, wait a minute. I know y'all know I'm not gonna go out like that. So now it's time for the cutting process. Okay guys, I know that they're not cutting shears, but it worked for me. If you have cutting shears, you're more than welcome to use them. So I'm just gonna go in and start cutting. I'm gonna take the scissor at an angle and just start cutting away at how I want my hair shaped and how I want it to look. This is the finished product. I absolutely love it. I love this style. I love the way that it frames my face. I like the fullness of it. I did use four and a half packs. Um, you can use less if you don't like too much of big hair, but this hair is beautiful. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, leave me a comment, and hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next one.